In this video, we're going to take a look at a particular package in uh, in R that allows you to use SQL. Now, SQL is a language that's been designed for querying and modifying databases, and it can be used in Access, it can be used in SAS, um, it can be used throughout. So often people come to a particular language, if they know SQL, they can use a different language. Um, now, I don't, I don't recommend just using SQL in R because you'd, you'd be missing out on a whole bunch of uh, strengths that R has. But if you do know SQL and you come to R, you can use it a little bit. So first things first, we need to install the package. To install the packages, and we've done this before many a time, and this package is called SQLDF, so SQL Data Frame. And if we run that, uh, why not Melbourne? I got a friend that's going to go live out there, so pick Melbourne, and we let this install. Okay, and so SQLDF has been installed, um, and uh, now we just write we 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 load the package. So SQLDF. That that's all there, and uh, now we can use SQLDF. Um, so I'm not going to teach us how to use SQL. Uh, in these videos, but uh, the basic way you use SQLDF is you simply put um, the SQL codes. For example, to create a copy of a data frame, you want to select all um, uh, the, the variables from MMM. And so you put as a string the SQL codes. This is SQL code here. So select star, which means every variable from MMM. And then if we take a look at test, Test is just the the same um, the same as MMM. Um, if you haven't seen other videos, MMM just looks like that. Okay, um, you can choose to select particular uh, variables. We could say test SQLDF, and then we can just say select select, and then the particular ones we want. So name, age. Um, and say sex from MMM. Now, if we run that, we take a look at test. You see, it's just got um, those. And you can also create new variables. Uh, so you can say test, oops, test SQLDF. And then uh, we just put in the lines of code here. So it's select name, age, sex, and then we're going to create a new variable, so height um, dot in dot kg divided by, and now we have to use a particular bit of SQL code, which is power, and it's height dot in dot meters to the second power, so that's the SQL code to raise that variable to the second power. Let me get that a little bit nicer. Uh, da, 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 da. And then we uh, we say as BMI. So this line here is saying, right, take all that and call it BMI, and then from MMM, just as before. Right, so that little dot it wasn't happy with um, because it thought it was something else. So uh, I just replaced that with underscores, which SQL seems to understand. But that's probably just because this data set isn't perfect. Um, but if if you had any problems, you just rename them as we've done previously. And that's that's basically uh, SQL def. And here's just a little table with some functions. So AVS, seal, floor. We saw power. But basically, if you just Google code to do something in SQL, it'll work uh, in SQLDF. 